In the previous video, I avoided grabbing the cube to move it and instead used the developer's tooltip. If you tried doing that at any point, you'd see that the smaller cube just moves to a static location. This is not an error, and here's why. If you recall from the developer's tooltip videos, we talked about attaching objects to other objects. When you grab an object, the exact same thing is happening. The grabbed object temporarily becomes a child of an invisible item within your hand called holder, while you hold the grab button. This means that the coordinate space of the blue cube changes when this happens, which causes the green cube to move to this position. This position is calculated based on the distance between the holder at the time of grabbing and the very center of the blue cube. Let me set up a scenario to help explain to you the difference between local coordinate space and world coordinate space, as this becomes very important when you want to rig things based on position or rotation. I'll use a completely empty world with just two transparent cubes to demonstrate this. Right now, both cubes occupy the exact same space at the exact center of this world, meaning that the X position is zero, the Y position is zero, and the Z position is zero. This label indicates the zero position of this world. I'll move the green cube up by one meter, and the blue cube up by half a meter. Setting these values back to zero, of course, will return these cubes back to the central location. However, when I make the higher up green cube a child of the blue one, not only does its position change, but if I set this position back to zero, it is not placed at the center of the world. It is placed at the center of its parent object, which is now this blue cube. The coordinates that are displayed in the inspector are always relative to the parent object's center. This is known as local coordinate space. Because local coordinate space is always relative to its parent, it means that even if I rotate or scale or move this blue cube, it will not affect the values of the green cube. This also means that you can end up with situations like this, where the y-coordinate actually makes the object go from side to side. This is the correct result because it's relative to its parent. So while it may be visually moving from side to side, in terms of coordinates, the only value changing is the y-axis. If I make the green cube once again a parent of the root object, which represents world space, we can see that not only has the object changed position, it has also been rotated. These changes are necessary to ensure that the object visually stays in the same location when you parent or unparent them. If these changes were not made, the object would snap to some unexpected location which is not desirable most of the time. The takeaway here is that if you want something to use world coordinate space instead of local, you must explicitly define that in most 3D programs, including NEOS. To make it so that this green cube doesn't disappear when grabbed by the user in this particular setup, we need a global transform node, because that operates off of world space, not local space.